Thailand is located in Southeast Asia. It is surrounded by four other countries, Burma, Cambodia, Laos, and Malaysia. Some 35 million people, many of whom live in the larger industrial cities, populate Thailand. The country is characterized by a tropical climate with rainy, hot summers and dry, cool winters. The national religion in Thailand is Theravada Buddhism. Around 95% of the Thai people practice Buddhism. The Buddhist architecture of Thailand is similar to that in other Southeast Asian countries, particularly Cambodia and Laos, with which Thailand shares a strong cultural and historical heritage. Bangkok is a very lively city with some 10 million or more residents. No matter where you go, you'll find something interesting to see. Shops that are selling religious articles, fabrics, hardware, you name it. And of course, many, many small restaurants that sometimes specialize in single items like uh, maybe seafood or a meat dish or a bun or uh, they may offer uh, a wider variety. Uh, the city is always on the move and it's exciting to see. So please join me and let's have a tour of some selection of sites in lively Bangkok. Traditional Thai dance consists of elaborate movements combined with colorful costumes. Classical Thai dance performances are largely based on ancient myths and religious stories. The purpose of the Thai Meteorological Department is to monitor earthquake activity around the country and to warn people about tsunamis that may come from the Andaman Sea and from the eastern Indian Ocean. Currently, they utilize information from about 40 high-quality seismic stations located throughout the country. Thailand has a very efficient and modern earthquake monitoring system. We're looking now at the monitor uh, for the earthquake that just occurred uh, about two minutes ago, and the location is already been given. I'm pointing to it here with my pen, and it's a magnitude 4.5 in Sumatra. You can see in this diagram the different seismic stations that are available to locate that event. This would be, appear to be an earthquake that occurred on the um, strike-slip fault of the Sumatran fault. If we said that a long time ago, we have the natural resource just like uh, some gold, some uh, tin. We have a lot of, of tin, you know, in the southern part. But uh, some, and the oil we have too, but not much. And natural gas, you know, natural gas we still have in, in the Gulf of Thailand. But it's not enough for the Thai people. We still uh, import from the outside, you see. And nowadays, we, I think that the, the export for our country is uh, come from the agriculture, just like uh, rice, uh, rubber, you know, that bring a lot of money coming in. And another thing that the, the, the major thing come from the tourists, because we, as you know, our country, we say that it's a land of smile, the people always smile, and uh, good food, good uh, uh, sea course, you know. One of the main natural hazards of Thailand is flooding. The monsoons that cause flooding come from two directions, the southwest monsoons and the northeast monsoons. Another type of natural hazard is drought, and this can cause severe loss of agriculture and livestock. 
The southwestern part of Thailand is occasionally hit by cyclones. These cyclones originate in the Gulf of Bengal and can be very damaging, particularly to Thailand's neighbor, Burma. The devastating cyclone Nargis of May 3, 2008, caused 146,000 deaths in Burma and around $10 billion worth of damage. Recently, Thailand experienced the devastating Indian Ocean tsunami of December 26, 2004. Thailand had not seen such a tsunami in living memory, leading it to be unprepared for this type of disaster. It's coming again. It's coming again? Yeah, it's coming again. I have a new You must find it. Huh? New way? It's coming again, new way. Yeah. They call me on here. After the great uh, earthquake uh, at uh, Sumatra and create and produced a very big uh, tsunami and uh, made uh, a lot of uh, damage to our countries, uh, our government uh, uh, pay more attention for uh, earthquake monitoring. In order to be prepared for the next earthquake or tsunami disaster, Thailand has been taking steps to further public awareness and governmental education. For instance, the U.S. Geological Survey recently led a training course in tsunami warning systems for the meteorologists and seismologists of Thailand. After the occurrence of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, the Thai government created the National Disaster Warning Center.